don't forget to check out the clip at the end of the video for more information on the channel. But in case you don't get a chance to, let me know your feelings. Share it on the video. That means liking, disliking, commenting, and subscribing. Let me know what you think. And that also helps the channel grow too. Hey everyone, this is just a quick kind of video, not anything official or anything like that. Just a kind of a response video. Um, and it's maybe I, I, I told you so video, I don't know. But I'll tell you what's happening here. So I put out videos in the past. One of my earliest videos was how to change your spark plug wires and things like that. And I've redone those videos even afterwards. And one comment I get con consistently is in the videos I talk about taking off that bracket there and this bracket here. And I've been told a lot by a lot of people you don't need to take that out. Now, I'm filming this video for two reasons. One, to show why I say you need to take it out. Two, if someone sees something different or maybe sees something that I'm missing and they can say, hey, no, you actually, you can do this because some people, everyone says you don't need to take the bracket out, but for the life of me, I can't see why I could, how I could do it without taking the bracket out. So I want, if anyone has any feedback or anything, I'm always willing to learn. So I'd like to see. And three, also to point out that maybe for my car, mine's a 2005, I need to take the brackets. Maybe they've done some revisions and 2006 2007 2008 or maybe in 2004 before they made changes there was things that you can do in those cars you can't do these they always revise stuff change stuff maybe there's small little changes but let me show you why here so we're gonna look at this bracket here first now you can see this bracket here right right now it's installed normally and you can see that wire it runs along this rail right here and there's no way i'm getting that wire out of there right nothing like you can't get that out of that rail right without um put that back in for a second though without taking this out like this has to be at least loosened enough i just say take it out make it easier to work because it's not very hard to take it out right so for me i don't and the thing is in the videos i should say no one specifies to me which bracket they're talking about i talk about taking out this one i talk about taking out that one and no one says hey you don't have to take out the left or the right i just get a lot of comments but you don't have to take out the brackets i'm trying to figure out why this is happening maybe someone could tell me something different but you can see I can get that out there. On this side over here, you can see I don't have enough room, but I can barely get my fingers back here, let alone enough room to get the boot. There's enough to get the wires through, but I certainly won't be able to fit this through here. I've tried, it will not fit through there. One, all the wires are here, but even if there's only one wire, that boot is not gonna fit through there. All right, you see? And certainly these boots won't fit. So these are the only two brackets that I take out. I don't know what, maybe something has changed. Now I haven't actually checked the later model ones or earlier model ones to see if there's anything different. I know in my model, that's what I see here. I can't, there's nothing I can do about it. I gotta loosen those brackets, at least take them out um, to get any type of access enough room to get these out. So if you see different in your car or there's something different or something I'm missing, please let me know. Uh, otherwise, this is why I say in the videos I have to do it. It's just simply for that. This is a response video. I get the comments so much in those videos. I figured other than keep explaining to someone, no, I do. Oh, I do. And people have argued back. I figured maybe should do a video just to show you guys what I'm seeing. And also, again, I've seen things like even in other cars, even in this in Grand Prix, where something that was fine in or like this in 2005, maybe they revised or changed in 2007, you know? So maybe there was a change that some people are seeing in like, Oh no, this bracket sticks out much further, or this one has more room, and it's not an issue for later model ones. I don't know. I haven't checked. I'm not going to put that much effort into checking, to be honest, but I just thought I'd post it out, just so you guys see what I'm seeing. Now the YouTube stuff. I always love a great feedback, so make sure, right off the bat, to subscribe to the channel. Thank you very much. Um, now, if you like something on the channel, definitely like it. Give it that thumbs up. If you disliked it, thumbs down for sure, but let me know why. That's what the comment section are for, and I, I, whatever it is, if you like something, then I know it's working, and if you dislike something, then I know something didn't. But let me know why, so I can continue to build a channel and make it better for me and for you. Um, aside from that, commenting is great too, so if there's something you can do better, something you can do different, any tips for other viewers, I'm all about that too, so make sure to put that in there. If you have a question about something that's maybe not even related directly to the video, leave that for me as well. Other than that, I want to thank you very much for watching. And I will see you all next video.